Hello everyone! Welcome back to Stonehearth, me Banto. We're back in the Bantonian Vale and uh, we're still building our tavern. It's taking quite a while, but I feel like we are progressing. We are making some more decoration that we needed to put down before we can continue. I sort of wish there was a way that we can actually see easier what things are you need to put out to continue to the next step. But I think we're mostly right now just waiting for them to start building again because we had a red block over here before, but I think they will continue soon with this. And we're very, very close to do the quest for the Guild Master's skill, and maybe we can work with this a little bit today. So it's a little bit harder maybe to imagine how it's gonna look here because we're gonna have four apple trees here, that's the plan with this. And I was thinking that maybe we can have some hedges at the border. Maybe, maybe. I do feel like I want to have something that sort of cuts it off there. That uh, will be at the side, sort of. I will see what I do. We can do some maybe some bear bushes as well. We do have some potted bear bushes that we can put out. So we can have them sitting there if you want to. Along the path, they could be sitting perhaps here. Or they can be standing on the road itself. So let's see how they would be if we put them out here. Maybe have like one block in between each of these. So they will be sort of like that. So there's actually like three or four blocks between each and every one. So maybe have them up leading up like that. And then we'll do the same down here the same way. So there we go. That might be pretty nice. I kind of like how that looks. And then uh, we're also going to connect here with the road. And I feel like maybe we should do that. And we could, if you want, we can reuse this road. Yes, we get a similar road to start with. And I'm going to move away a few things, like the knight statue from here. And a bunny statue as well. And I also thought about maybe we could incorporate them in a tavern here. Or we would do it, do it a different place. I feel like the rabbit statue maybe can sit somewhere. It would be kind of cool to have it in front of here, but... Uh, if we're gonna have the Guild Master skill there as well, it might be a little bit strange. But I'm gonna undeploy these because then we can put them into the decoration when making our little frontier for the tavern. I try to bring seeds from a distant land. Hello, Bentonia Vale. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two. If you're interested, if you make it with seven silkweed fiber bundle, I'll be back in eight days and might be able to get you nightshade seeds. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if we have those. Let's see, Nightshade. Uh, looks like we have some flowers, but I wonder if we get some seeds. That's gonna be kinda cool. Silkweed Fiber Bundle. I think that's just that they connect, collect those from our field, I'm pretty sure. So maybe we'll be able to get that, but it seems like we have some... Uh, flowers already. Well, a skilled hand uh, can harvest the weaker seeds, but the herbs are lost. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, these are the seeds, actually. I wonder if I already maintain them, maybe. And I don't think this is part of Ace. I think this is just like from uh, another mod or the base game. Pretty, pretty sure it's most like from another mod. Maybe. We'll see if we have the nightshade flowers, it might give us a little bit of info. As dangerous as they are pretty, useful as in purple bitter herb. Okay, so they are actually part of Ace, I think. Because uh, they are a herb. They wouldn't be if it wasn't. So the guild muscle skill we're waiting for. And this lantern we here, we're gonna have to move that one, but what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna name this one, and I'm naming everything new that's 2022, yeah, so it's easy to remember what it is, I'm already a year ahead of you guys, it seems, so this one's gonna be called, um, I'm just gonna name it Road, let's do it like that. So then we can plop down another one of these, and actually I might, let's see, let's move this one a bit for now. We can have it sitting there later, but for now, let's see if we can move it over there instead. And I might do kind of the same road almost here. I'm just gonna rotate it around a little bit first. There we go, that's how I wanna have it. And I wonder, I wonder... I think this tree might be in the way there. 
And so let's go ahead and we're gonna harvest these two trees, uh, chop them both down. Give the people a little bit of energy eh, so they can uh, do some more work around. I wonder if they maybe, maybe need a ladder somewhere to get around and do the next step. Or if it's something maybe missing down here at the bottom, maybe. That could also be the case. Normally when there's objects that have to get before they continue, there's like a little ghostly object around. But I haven't been able to spot that one in a while. But I'm just gonna add a few extra ladders. Maybe they will help, maybe they won't, but at least we tried. So there we go, the trees are chopped down, and now we just have to go ahead and we're gonna add back the road again, rotate it around. Then it should be able to go there. And we can have it look the same if we want to, but I'm not sure, do we want it to look the same? It kind of would be nice if it sort of looked the same. I might actually do it the same, but over here though, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna cut off this area. Because if we're gonna have a bridge here, we might want it to look different, but maybe we can just do it like this. And later we could decide how we wanna have it. Um, then we connect it here. So let's maybe build this one. Should be fairly easy to do this one. How things can figure out how to build this? You're building troublesome blocks are red, and that's quite a lot of blocks. I wonder if we have um There's probably some object in the way, I'm guessing. It's really nice that we got our chip because we're getting so many things so much faster now. And I'm gonna name one of my chips. I'm not gonna butcher any of these, so I can actually name these. Hopefully they're getting some food as well. They don't have any place to eat yet, but we do have a little bit of grass growing around at least. So let's make sure with our shepherd that we actually are making food of our cheap duck feed. We got animal fodder, which works for any animal pretty much. And we have moo moo feed. So we should be good to go, but we are going to make some cheap feed as well. Because that's the best to make the feed that's made for an animal you're going to have. Tasty grasses for sheep. Improves the quality of the animal we produce. And it's a bale of wheat, which we have a lot of. So we may as well queue up a little bit of it. And a bowl of cream. Stir the milk to bring up its layers. And skim the fatty dancer top layer used for as fine cooking ingredient. Uh, I'm going to maintain some of those as well. Yes, we have them around. We can maintain some butter as well. A churn of a creamy flavorful paste. It's often used as a cooking ingredient with bread. It goes like bread. And, uh, never mind, then maybe butter. Hmm. Okay, we already had that one queued up. Okay, so we're fine with that. Mayonnaise, uh, a tangy mixture of egg jolk, oils and acids that is rather uh, appreciated uh, as a sauce or a cooking ingredient. Love it or hate it. And vinegar. Vinegar is one of those things that I feel like I had a little bit of problems with so far. Uh, but we're also gonna try to maintain some of those. And yeah, we were making some cheese vats. I think they might be ready already. Yep, empty cheese vat, which we can put in maybe the farm's house. As it is pretty full now. Maybe we can make some cheese on the top floor. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a place we're supposed to do it, but you know, we got some space, so let's make some cheese. Later we're probably gonna make them inside of our tavern or something instead. Or if you have like a cheese factory, maybe. But up here we can do a lot of cheese. Gonna be a very cheese attic up here, right? Hmm. Okay, so there we go. And um, our silkweed is grown here. That's good. I'm gonna cancel that one. These we can uproot later so we can use them for making some beautiful flowers we're gonna need a lot more of them i mainly want this house to continue now a little bit water that we aren't continuing in it and i kind of want to figure out what we're waiting for i actually found the thing out they were waiting for i thought it was actually put out because it didn't look so transparent so the weaver tapestry looks to be what we are waiting for so we're gonna try to do that one directly now if we can a uh, basket of berries, a bolt of cloth, and wooden logs. Okay, that should be pretty easy to do. We're just gonna try to get some berries then, I guess. And hopefully we're gonna get some. Not ripe yet for harvest. 
A strong dude arrives. I'm not gonna buy them. I don't really like how these guys look. It looks a little bit weird to me. Stray goblin wolves. Let's send our party over there. Or maybe, actually, let's not do that. Let's send my people over here. I wanna see if the wolf is gonna actually run into my turret. Okay, it looks like it just disappeared. Because we have all of our turnip shooters sitting here for them. A lot of traps now as well. And I can't wait to put down some walls and towers around. This might be a good place for a tower or something, an outlook position. And also to do our little bridge, which is gonna probably be a pretty big bridge. And then later we're gonna do either a castle over here, or we'll do maybe even up here, but this feels too far away. I kinda wanna cover this entire island with our town, sorta. It's gonna be most likely super laggy to do that, but uh, you know, sometimes you wanna do stuff. And since these doesn't seem to be grown that good, because we need some berries, I'm gonna see if I can instead uh, get to buy some berries from our merchants. Joran Sugarcane, what do you have? This one might have some berries, actually. The thing is that my people are probably consuming a, few, a lot of them as well. Okay, this guy didn't have a lot, but I have a lot of bones to sell, so I'm gonna sell them. A lot of skulls as well, it seems. What I'm bound to do now with all these skulls. And uh, let's try to get another merchant. Firefly goblins are here to sell some good stuff. A um, potted sapling, that might be pretty nice. Oh, a little frog. A jumpy amphibian. I really, really like them and I sort of want to buy the frog. I kind of want to do it because... I'm gonna do it. I'm scared that it's gonna die though because, you know, that's what happens a lot of times. They get stuck on a roof and they die later with the bug. Uh, but let's see, where did we get the little frog? Where do we have you? Here we have Tails, befriended by Mistletoe. I'm gonna name this uh, frog here. This is gonna be Froppy from an uh, anime series called My Hero Academy. Which I feel like I need to watch again soon. They did have a season finale some months ago. Really, really good season finale. I think the final episode of that season was one of my... Maybe at least top 10 favorite scenes in the anime. Real, real enjoyed it. Real well done. Ooh, look at Harold. I think it has increased in quality somehow. And we got a little Moo McCalf over there. Then we have Moo Shell and we have Jitka as well. And yeah, I'm gonna name one of my cows as well. I'm gonna name this Moo Calf Hilla. Welcome Hilla. That's how we're we gonna have an amazing Moo time over here. And then we have some ducks. We can also name them. I'm gonna name this one. Donald. And we had another request for a name. And next duck is gonna be named Alan. Welcome to the town, Alan. And I still feel like I, I'm pretty sure there's a bug with those ladders that they aren't storing. I'm pretty sure. So let's see, hopefully we're gonna get that one done very, very soon. Looks like they are crafting it as we are speaking about it. Let's check my weavers. Girlwolf, what are you doing? Collecting and collecting. And I wonder if you haven't upgraded the tools yet. Ooh, nice. We do have a steel needle, that's awesome. Both of them have it, awesome. So I guess my blacksmith are doing a great job at the moment. What more do we need to do in here? Uh, we don't really need to do these crats anymore when there's like single ingots because we can do a double at the same time. So there's no reason to do these uh, small cues anymore. A cleric bronze plate. Provide some protection for your wannabe paladins. I'm not sure if my cleric is gonna use that one, but I, I think if I do the iron mail, that one they're probably gonna use them. Then we have cleric steel machine mail. I think we can start with one iron first. But I wonder if my cleric already have one, because I think I queued up to do 
a different one before. Uh, no, we don't have any protection yet. We only have uh, the fine tome and a bronze circlet and uh, the fur cape. Okay, I think the tapestry is done. I think that's another tapestry that they're doing. I'm getting double of them, maybe. Maybe that is the one. I think Alyssa Rose is on her way to do our tapestry. No! Talking with Carolina? How dare you? I want my tapestry done. Or did we get it? Maybe we did get it. Let's see. Because I couldn't see it in the queue anymore. Hmm. It's, oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. They are continuing. And I wonder if I can maybe remove some of these ladders that I put down. Because we will have to remove them later anyway. Look at that. People are building on our tavern again. That's so nice to see. It goes pretty well. Like, the speed is pretty high with building. With the new Ace update, they had changed how it works quite a bit. In the past, they walked over, took their uh, wooden stone and clay and whatever, and started building with what they had on them. But nowadays, it seems like they drop it inside of the building. They bring every piece of wood, stone, and clay, every building material, to the place, and then they start building pretty much. Which seems to make it build a little bit faster. Uh, but it looks like maybe they passed it. Something passed it again. Oh, there we are. More building is getting done. We're probably pretty far to get it fully done though. Because we have so many decorations that can be put out everywhere later. But look at them building. That's so awesome to see. And I wonder why this one failed. Ah... Let's see. Huh. Ah. I think it's because the market stalls or even my lamp there. I'm gonna move the lamp as well for a while. So, Mr. Lamp, you can live here in for now. And the market stall, we're gonna move you as well. I, I am pretty sure it is related to the market stalls. Sometimes it's like to require a little bit bigger space than it show. Uh, because it was sitting sort of like that, so I think it was maybe too close. So let's see if they can build it now. Okay, then I'm kind of clueless why they aren't doing this one. Then I am kind of clueless. I'm gonna try to remove it and we're just gonna put it out again. Maybe that won't help, maybe not. Okay, that's one word. Rabbit Residence. Hello, Sasha. So a pair of my more adventurous kin are interested in immigrating into the above ground. In fact, they are specific ask to ask you if you might be have a place for them. Yes, we would love to have them. Splendid! Some accommodation must first be made. You see, the Amberstone crystals are more than a mere light source. They are also what keeps us from reverting to the simple animals you see hopping around the surface. Never fear, such a process takes a considerable time, all the same. A rabbit hole would not be comfortable without an amber stone at its center. I will leave this amber stone pedestal, build or choose a nice home with two beds and place the pedestal there. Once all is prepared, I will return with my kin. Place the amber stone pedestal near two beds with a small, with a high enough appeal and check the name of the placed item for live updates. So we're gonna be able to get two amber stone bunnies to move in with us guys. So if you guys have specific names for our Amazon bunnies. I will be adding two more names to our list. So if you have a name request, do let me know for these two bunnies. And I will randomly select two names to join. I will not be picking name. I will use a random name selector and uh, we can see who gets to name uh, some Amazon bunnies. So what we could do here, guys, is to use a house we already have and then we will put it next to two beds if we have a place that we can do that. Maybe up here. We can try to do that. So the Amazon pedestal. Let's try to put it here and see if it's gonna work. There should be live updating like it said. 
And here we have another bugged animal on the top again. There you go, I saved you again. I really wish that the bug wasn't around, it happens so often, it's su such a common bug in the game. And you do get some unhappy halflings because their pets keeps dying, you know? Look at them go with the building. It's going so fast right now, awesome. Give me some more potion, more speed. Wait, are you already coming over? Rabbit residence! What a nice home you built for them! They will be here shortly, and I'm sure they will be charmed by the way. I'm certain they can teach you some of our delicious recipes as well, nice! I don't remember them teaching me that in the past, but that would be awesome. Spoils the poet is a prophetic crafter, level 5 blacksmith, nice. Ooh, it looks like they're already joined. I clicked away the recipe. But I'm guessing that's some kind of food. A rabbit worker joins. Kaimi Chale joins. And let's see what they got. Four, four, five, that's good stuff. Loner and doesn't like alcohol or can't really drink it actually. Very welcome. So feel free to name Kaimi. Kaimi. And let's see the second one. Over here. Oh, they can look the same. Pipke. Hello, Pipke. Two, four, six. That's some good stats as well. Heart of a crafter. Nice. So feel free, to, guys, to name our bunnies. That's gonna be awesome, right? Naming them bunnies. Oh, no, 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 no. They have a camp in between us and a bunny. That's send my people over. A dangerous goblin. You're not gonna take down my little bunny. Run, bunny, run. Give some courage to boost that. Oh, there's another one. They're really after my little bunny. Run, Pipke, run. Oh, there's even more. Everyone's trying to get Pipke. My people are coming now. Nice. Look at them run. We're gonna save you, bunny. Yep, there wasn't a lot of chance for them to fight Bantos little army. Here we go, I'm gonna clean out their camps as well. Thank you for scouting the camps, Ralph Pipke. Another one over here, there we go. Nice, now we can disable jobs and have them run back to have a good time in town. And look at this, progress is being made so fast right now. Oh wow, what are we missing now? Uh, we need some more ornated chairs and a home sweet home storage pantry. Bronze candle holder, ornated comfy bed. So there are a few things, I just hope we'll be able to craft them so there are no weird bugs with them. But it uh, feels doable for sure. I'm gonna start with looking into my blacksmith a bit here for the pewter. So we need to make this one the teapot over here, and also this one, pewter pitcher. Should be able to do them fairly soon. Uh, this one I'm gonna cancel for now. And uh, I think I'm gonna cancel them as well, and I'm gonna re them at the very very bottom. So th that means they will be like the lowest priority of things that we're gonna do for now. And I'm not sure if we should do be do, doing these. Master of the craft allows a blacksmith to achieve greater efficiency in cooking coal. Um, I wonder, are these good or not? I'm not entirely sure about these. Eat the lumps of coal without burning them to efficiently produce coke, a good grade fuel. Cook with coal or coke coal. <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> to cook with coke. <laughs> That was a good one. Go for everyone, I agree. <laughs> Noise. There we go, I'm gonna make a few of them. I, I mean, I guess they're gonna be better than lumps of coal. Because we can make them.
a two-handed sword. That would be nice. This will deal some bleeding damage. I'm gonna queue up to do one. Hey! Look at that little bunny. Look at that bunny. I've never seen... <laughs> look at the little hat I got. That's so cute, right? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Look at that. A little tail in the back there. Nice. I love being surprised by things in the game still. Even so many years after the game came out, this game with Ace and other mods are still surprising me every day. With some new stuff that I haven't seen, even though I've played this game so much. Uh, but I want to do a higher, guys. I'm gonna see if I remove a few things here. I can remove, I guess, most things. Leave it bare minimum like that. And they build it, so there was probably some kind of thing going on with one of my furniture or decorations over here. But we're gonna do this little place here, and I might be changing a little bit after this is built. What I'm gonna connect between this and the road here, because we want to make a sort of transition between these two. To make it kind of flow together. Um, so... It's not the best condition right now with the weather and everything. The design colors are a bit weird when working with it for now. And maybe if I go into this mode. But I think we're just gonna go like that and we're gonna change it later. And it seems some of you guys also like the idea of having maybe a bathhouse later. That would be cool. Look at that bunny. So cute. I just love the hat on that bunny. It looks so nice. So different. So nice. And let's see here. We can put this up. Uh, I'm gonna do it later. What we're gonna store in the boxes. We can do that later. Uh, but let's have a little bit of a look now that you have started to place a few things to see more what we are missing. So we need wooden planter boxes. Ornated dining table. Ornated throw rug. And rugs, it seems like we need all of them still. So let's check with our weaver. How are we doing here? Uh, I don't think they're even queued up, maybe. This queue is very big at the moment. Probably bigger than it needs to be, actually. Okay, here we do have them, okay. We need some more new gold flakes. I, I'm always thinking that I have enough gold flakes, and then I find out that it wasn't near nearly enough at all. Let's see if maybe my blacksmith can make some gold ingots again. Ten of those at the top over there. And uh, let's maybe mine out a little bit more gold again. And uh, we did have a lot of gold up in this mountain. Here we go, that should give quite a bit for a while. I see we have some nightshade grown up here as well. Um, oh, they are growing in a circle. Maybe this is like a witch place or something like that. That's pretty cool. And here we have the vines that I put to grow before. It seems they lose their green during the winter as well, which I actually didn't know about. But look at that, it looks pretty cool, right? I just love how it kind of dances up on the side of the wall. And we can do some more. I, I'm gonna try to put it at uh, the corner here and see what happens with it. But it looks quite beautiful. I'm gonna try to put one here as well. And uh, maybe, maybe, I, I think this might be looking weird when it's in a corner like that, but we can, we can give it a try. And here we have a stuck fox again. Poor little fox. Little pixel stuck on the roof. And here we have another bunny again. It's so sad when you go through the roof like that. Hello, flying bunny. Sometimes you have to, wait, have to like wait for the animation to finish. So now they're down again. <clears throat> so that's a bit annoying. You can imagine when we, you know, when we get a lot of a bigger town, we're gonna get more and more people stuck more and more often. We also need tavern sign and uh, comfy beds, potted blush mirrors, and uh, that one is made by. Let's see. 
Okay, we just need to uproot like one of those flowers and we shall be done with it. So let's do that. We can uproot a few of them. Then we can just keep harvesting them and we will be getting some more flowers. And let's put out some more of our colonies with mushrooms. And maybe this can be a little mushroom place out here in the woods. And I like to spread them out a little bit like this. Because it doesn't feel natural when you're just sitting aligned perfectly. It just does, doesn't look good to me. So that's why I like to spread them out a little bit. Even if it would make it a lot easier to harvest them and such. Uh, let's look into our engineer as well. Can we do anything new here? Maybe, maybe. Still cannot do the next turret. Okay. I think we're mostly waiting for blacksmith stuff. What we could maybe do if we want to is to promote our engineer to be a blacksmith again. The thing is though, when you go between professions, we will lose all the progress that has been going up here. So it's not really worth it, but I thought if it were really early, we could have done it because then we can have free blacksmith work and with that. I sort of do wish though, however, that engineers can actually help with melting things. I feel like that might also make a lot of sense if they can help with that. And here, what kind of trees did we grow here again? Chestnut small trees, okay. Because we might we want to plant some there. It doesn't have to be the same either. The problem with placing some of these trees though is that you don't know how they're going to look when they're getting big. Uh, this one however is perfect. It's really really easy to see how it's going to be when it's getting big. Because it's the same size at the bottom when it's small as well. The first stage it might be like one block but some are really weird like the oak tree for example. They are really really weird with that. Because they are seven blocks when they're fully grown. But I think at like the second stage or something like that, here we have an oak tree, small one. It's four blocks and turns into seven, which makes it almost impossible to know where the center is when placing them out, like if you want to stop them at the small stage. So I don't really like that so much. But these we're gonna stop when they are becoming small chestnut trees. And I really, really, really love how those look. They look so beautiful. It's not going to be this big. It's going to be a much, a much, much smaller. And this is how the oak tree looks when they are super small. Then there is one little block and later they will be huge like that. Uh, so let's maybe queue up to do some planter boxes. If we don't already have a few of them, we might have a few of them actually. Okay, I don't think I can see any of there actually, so let's look into the planter. A little herbalist. We want to make more of these. We can make this large one, but I feel like since we used this at the other one, I think we should do the same. We don't have to. Maybe we should try the big one. Let's tr try that. So how many would we need? One, two, three. Just three big ones. There we go. And I wonder, we did put out to... Hello, Fox, what are you doing on the market zone, man? <laughs> and we did put them to grow some mushroom inside of the mountain. Let's have a look in there. Okay, so here we have our mushroom planters. And we are gonna be... Ooh! Oh! I thought we would only be able to grow, like, you know, the... The glowing mushrooms, but we can actually grow grow parasol and sweet tooth. That means we don't even have to have them outside in nature anymore. Tender mushrooms, but toxic when raw. Commonly found almost everywhere. Grows very quickly. That's so awesome. I already love this. And we're also going to do some sweet tooth, delicious mushrooms. Commonly found almost everywhere. Grows very quickly. Let's do two of these. And we have chanterelles. They are so tasty in real life. I think that's the only I had of these in real life. 
Chanterelles are really good. And I also love another one, we call them Cantarelle in Swedish, and there's another called Tratt Cantarelle, which is, instead of yellow goldish, it's a little bit more like brownish, can have a little bit of foot, can be a little bit yellowish, a little bit goldy, but not fully goldy. I love mushrooms, they're nice to collect during autumn. Trader brings seeds from a distant land. If you make me free basket of bears, we get violet seeds. Okay, let's do that. Trade it back in four days, and the other one is five. Wow, that's many days. But I'm happy that's going so good here. Nice. The bear barrels are kind of weird to do. You have to make wooden barrels for them, which kind of, you know, it makes a lot of sense actually. But we also have to make a basket of berries, so that's going to be a little bit weird. And we also need a dish cabinet. And these are from Mod Home Sweet Home, really, really lovely mod. It feels a little bit out of date these days, though. It's not really updated. There's a lot of missing things going on here for like craft times and such, as you can see. If we go to a normal one, that doesn't have a heart on them, which are from the same mod. If we go down here, you can see the crafting time and such. So let's go up here and uh, we, we might actually have that already. Let's see. Maybe we do not have to make it. Okay, looks like I do need to make it, so let's just do one. But we have to wait for the berries, so that's gonna be probably a while before we get it. Everyone wants the berries for now, it seems. We do have berry bushes, but I think they might be growing extra slow now during the winter, which makes probably a lot of sense, you know? Uh, but maybe, maybe we can put out to grow some more berry bushes. Put some maybe... Maybe here, kind of close to where we have uh, our bees. Our bees knees over here. Bear bushes, let's do that. I feel like we should do some small paths here later. You know, some really, really small, small, simple, simple paths. It would just be something like this. Going across here. It's not supposed to look perfect or anything. It's just supposed, you know, to be there, to function and uh, be used by many people. And then they can walk here. I hope they can... I'm not sure if they can actually make this road section over here. So I think I will just leave it there first. And then what we're gonna do is that we are gonna add in a little bit of random colors. It just feels a little bit more realistic this way. Something like that. Then we'll probably make a little path here later. At this side of the wall, I do think I'm gonna have probably... Probably another house somewhere around here later. Or a barn or something. I feel like we should have some more farmhouses, that's for sure. And I might maybe even use the same one and base the house on this one and... Just do a little bit of tweaks everywhere and uh, get it to look quite different anyway. And I already, I'm pretty sure I already made another farmhouse, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use. I do have this one, however. I think I updated this one to work with this one. And I'm not going to use it, I think. This is one that I made actually pretty recently, I think end of the last year. I might be using this one, because I do love how it looks, but it's very, very big. But I do love how it looks. I might actually use that one. It might be a little bit big. But yeah, it looks like stuff is going good. This town is really grown and it's looking beautiful with all the lights and the smoke and activity going on in town. But this is going to be it for today, guys. So if you have names for our bunny people, let me know in the comments. And I will be randomly selecting two people to be bunnies for our town. I will use that random name grabber and uh, put in all of you guys' names for bunny people. And uh, I will let us select two bunnies to be named. So thank you for watching today's episode, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like on the video, it helps you out really really much and thank you for watching and sharing your time with me today and I uh, hope to see all of you guys soon soon again. Take care everybody, have a great rest of your day.